For those who need a bit of a snake artist Prince fix, here we go. Today we're going to do an etching, but it's going to be a relief etching. And with copper sulfate and aluminium, or aluminium if you're from the States, what we've got here is a very interesting process because it's not just a clear, straight black and white. It's a tonal range. So, let's get started. So, I'm preparing a plate. I'm starting off with a scouring pad, just scouring the surface a little bit so that it uh, will take the pencil that I'm going to use. Next, I put a backing on it. I just got a bit of clear contact, some vinyl, some sticky stuff, and that's quite good for this because it blocks out a lot of the eating away of the etching. Now I'm using a greasy pencil, and I'm doing a drawing. I decided to do a Tasmanian Devil because this print tends to look quite dark, like it's in twilight or night time. I thought this would be a good opportunity to draw a creature of the night. And one of my favourite creatures of the night is the Tasmanian Devil. So the greasy pencil I'm using here uh, found at a newsagent, which is quite common across Australia. But you could probably find it in office supplies. You could also use a China Graph pencil, or if you want to go the art supply route, then what you do is you get a lithograph pencil. A nice, juicy, greasy lithograph pencil would do this as well. It's oily stuff, which is going to be the resist, and everything else is going to be open bite. And so, here we go. I'm going to drop this into the copper sulfate. Copper sulfate bites very aggressive and sometimes it'll get underneath things, so I don't want it in for too long. But we'll just watch it and probably don't want to feather it too much either, just so sort of let it do its thing. So here's my copper sulfate mix. Uh, if you want to know how to mix that copper sulfate, I'll put a link in the description to another video I've made where we get really chemical with things and mix up some chemicals. So copper sulfate, which is basically just copper sulfate crystals, salt and warm water, is there. Then I have what I call a stop bath, just uh, water there just to clear it off. You never pour any of this down the sink because I love things that live in the water and this would kill them. In it goes. Okay, it's been in there 5 to 10 minutes. I'm going to take this guy out. Even though copper sulfate's not that, such a nasty thing, it's not like nitric acid or anything like that, you still don't want to get this stuff on your skin. pencil's coming off so it's time to wash it off. I can touch it up. A little bit of baby oil. You never use terps if you don't have to. See the image is there. Second edge, and then it goes.
as I ink this, it's really important to do it very, very lightly. I'm barely touching it, hardly putting any weight at on. Hardly putting any weight on at all, just very gently letting it roll over. And I ink it up lots of time, putting a lot of ink on, but it's all very, very surface ink. Okay, magic time. Interesting sort of grey. You can see why I wanted to do it at night time. Very all over grey print, but it's there. You can see around the edges of the darkest bit, there's just a little bit of a white line. So where it comes in really close, that's where you get the sort of the more white lines happening, and most of it's all over grey tone and that's the nature of uh, aluminium or aluminum if you're in the States. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to use a nib and a fine paintbrush so it's going to be much more of a line drawing but you're still going to get a lot of that gritty grainy sort of feel to it so the next relief etching one is going to be next week stay tuned. Till then I'll see you later I've got some cleaning up to do.